Gamers, what are the craziest things you've overheard from an open mic? This happened a while ago, so I don't remember what game we were playing. Me and three other guys were playing together. I'll call the J, Lau, and Gary. We were waiting around in the lobby in between matches. Gary comes across the mic and says that he needed to step away for a second and that he would be back. He asked us to wait for him, but if he wasn't back in 10 minutes to go ahead and play another match. We all agreed to wait for him and he set his headset on his desk. We were chatting about the previous match. We started hearing some static. We all assumed it was coming from Gara's mic. We started talking trash about him leaving his mic on. Then the static turned into growling sounds. We were a little spooked, but Jay said that maybe Gari had a dog. We didn't talk anymore, waiting for Gari to come back. When we started hearing what sounded like whispers, we started getting a lot more spooked. At first, we couldn't tell really what it was saying. It progressively got louder, until it was loud enough to be understood. It just kept repeating the same phrase over and over again. It kept saying, where are you? Where are you? I can hear you. We were all silent, refusing to even breathe into the mic. It just kept talking. Then out of nowhere the voice got louder and all it said was, found you. Lau yelped and Jay fell out of his chair. I was frozen, stock still. Then we hear Gari talking and walking towards his computer. We hear him ask aloud, why is my head set on the floor? He picked it up and told us he was back. We all started speaking at once, trying to tell him what happened. Gary said he couldn't understand us. Jay said he would explain. Gary was silent through the explanation. When Jay finished, Gary just said that the reason he had stepped away was because something had tripped his security lights and his mom asked him to investigate. He didn't find anything. Gary told us weird things had been happening in his house for a few weeks. He believed his house was haunted. We all talked about it for a few minutes before Lau told Gari that next time, he needed to turn off his mic. Gari just laughed, and said that he had. I had been playing with this one kid for a few months. He was really good at the game, and was a good sport. He didn't yell or call people names. He was a great person to play with. We were playing a few rounds one night and he seemed really stressed. He was acting really strange. I opened a private chat to talk to him. I asked him what was going on. He said that his parents were arguing downstairs. They had been yelling and screaming for a few hours. I chatted with him for a little longer as we played another round or two. Next thing I know I hear a loud pop and the kid yelped. I asked what happened. He doesn't answer right away, but I can hear his keyboard. I'm sent a message that reads, that was a gunshot. I live at, address that is two states away, please send help. I'm going to hide. I call the cops immediately, and tell them what is going on. I, then, hear a man's voice. He's yelling the kid's name, and telling him to come out. I told the operator everything I was hearing. I was holding my breath, hoping the kid would be okay. The operator then tells me, that the officers have just arrived at the house. I can hear the man yelling about it. After a few moments I hear the kid's voice again. He's thanking me, and tells me, that the officers got his dad. That he was going to be staying at a friend's house, until his uncle could come get him. I was so happy, that he was safe. The biggest plot twist was finding out, that his uncle lived two streets down from me. I got to meet the kid and his uncle. His uncle thanked me for saving his nephew's life with tears in his eyes. We've become the best of friends, and we'll be going to the same college in the fall. I got to hear a proposal. I had a group of 5 people I played a couple different games with. The group consisted of me, a guy in Nevada, a girl in Florida, and a couple that lived in Tennessee. One day, the guy gets on without his girlfriend. He told us that she was at work still, and he was just killing some time before she got home. We played for a little while, and then all of a sudden he says he's got to go. We heard him jump up from his desk and walk quickly away. The next thing we hear is a door being opened, and the girlfriend saying, what's all this? We can hear him talking, but can't really make out what he is saying. We do hear the end though. We hear him say, will you make me the happiest man in the world and marry me? We hear her say yes, and then a loud thump. We all start yelling into our mix. The guy picks his headset back up, and says that he'll be back in a couple hours, sounding slightly embarrassed. 
he logs off, and we sent him several congratulatory messages. They got married a year later, and they sent us pictures. It was one of the nicest things I've overheard playing games online. I've overheard a lot of stuff playing online games, but one incident always stuck with me. I was playing with a couple buddies and a random dude. He was a really good player, so we invited him to keep playing with us. We're all chatting and joking around. All of a sudden the new guy says that he will be right back. We hear him set down his headset, and a couple seconds later a door slams open. We can hear the dude talking to someone. Dude, hey mom, what do you need? Mom, I need you to get off your lazy butt and get me some more beer and cigarettes. Dude, I'm not old enough to buy you beer mom. I'll drive you up there, but I can't buy it for you. Mom, you need to figure out how to get it. They won't sell me anymore. Dude, why don't you just go get some sleep mom? Mom, why don't you mind your own business and go get my stuff? Dude, you don't need any more beer mom. Some slapping sounds are heard. Mom, I told you to mind your business. Go get my stuff. If you can't get my beer, don't come back. We hear the dude sigh and tell her yes. He comes back to tell us he has to go. We all tell him it's okay. We all send him a friend invite. After he logs out, we lost contact with him after a few months. I hope he is okay. I helped a guy break into his own house on time. Me and a few buddies were playing some games on a Saturday night. We had played several rounds of CS. Go and we were all in need of a break. So, we all agreed to take 10 and get done what we needed to get done. One guy walks out of his house to take a smoke. He rented and wasn't allowed to smoke inside. He finishes his cigarette and goes to open his door and it's locked. He didn't have anything on him. He was just stepping out to smoke. He was, thankfully, still wearing his headset. He tells us that he has locked himself out of his house and isn't sure what to do. He didn't have anything with him. I asked him if he'd finished his pack of cigarettes. He said yeah, that the empty box was in his hand. I walked him through how to tear and fold the box to make a tool he could use to force his door open. It took him a few tries, but eventually he got the door open. We all hollered in celebration. I got lots of questions afterward as to how I knew how to do that. I just told them that a magician never reveals his secrets. They now call me the magician and ask me how to break into other things. I have legitimately heard someone on my team break up with their boyfriend during a game of Dota on voice. She was using open mic, and he was like get off that stupid game. Let's go out with my friends in this horribly entitled voice. After around 10 minutes of her being calm and saying things like it's okay hun. Just let me finish this game. I will get punished if I leave and him just not understanding that he issued an ultimatum. If you don't turn that game off right now and get ready to go, I'm going to break up with you. And she just typed in chat hold on for a secretary guys. Need to break up with this doucher bag and everyone lolled and paused and she just went off like this is my apartment. You stay here for free. You don't pay for anything. I buy you all your food. I give you money to go out with your boys. You don't get to act like you staying is a gift to me. You're absolutely useless, and I'm tired of paying for your stuff. Get out of my apartment this relationship is over. Then it was lots of him yelling and bringing up all this shit she did wrong in the past, and accusing her of cheating, as if that was going to help and eventually, she just said sorry, relationship is over. I don't care. Bring a truck, and one of those friends of yours you love to hang out with so much, to get your stuff tomorrow. See if any of them are willing to clothe, feed, and house you. And everyone on voice chat just went to woo, and we were typing everything that was happening to the enemy team. She eventually got him out of the apartment and boy did it sound like she had a world of pressure off her shoulders. After the game I friended her, we still talk on steam sometimes. She really ended the relationship and ended up just putting all his stuff in a storage locker when he didn't come get it for a week. She has a girlfriend now who apparently isn't as awful and understands how games work. I've been playing games for a few years now and here is an assortment of things I've overheard. The guy whose dad went on a very racist rant and then left. The kid apologized profusely and explained that he wasn't old enough to leave yet or else he will The several different couples who have forgotten to turn off their mix and had sex. I've heard more people going to the bathroom than I've ever needed to.
I came in at the tail end of a conversation that ended with, and that's why I believe I'm not fully human. Half of my DNA is from an alien. Some guy only talked to the team by whispering seductively into the mic. I've had to deal with several people who can do very accurate impressions of characters say very hilarious things. For example, I had the pleasure of playing with a girl who could do an impression of Ash from Pokemon. She would keep up the voice through the whole match. I'm going to get Twinings tattooed on my balls, so that when I teabag you, you know I'm not just using the generic stuff. The longer I play the more stuff I've heard. I keep a document of all the strange things I've heard. I just can't wait to add to my list. Me, my buddy, Jason, and his wife, Tara, have been playing games online together since high school. We all went to the same school. Jason and Tara ended up going to the same college. They dated and got married shortly after they graduated. I was lucky enough to be a groomsman at the wedding. Even though we live in different states now, we always make time to play a few rounds every week. We catch each other up on the week's news and whatnot. One time when we were playing, James seemed anxious. Eventually, I hear an alarm go off, and Tara quietly tells Jason that it's time. They excuse themselves, and I hear Tara's mic get turned off. I never hear the click of Jason's mic being turned off. At this point, I'm confused. I'll let it go thinking that, obviously, I'm not supposed to know. A few minutes later, I hear Jason exclaim, it's positive. It's positive. We are going to be parents. I can hear Tara crying in the background. They are back a few minutes later, sounding much more at ease. I don't say anything. I didn't know if I was allowed to know yet. Jason tells me immediately. I congratulate them and tell them they are going to be great parents. The baby is born now and she is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I was playing with a random group of guys one night. We were cutting up, giving each other crap. We are about to start another round when one of the guys asks if we can wait a second. He tells us that he thinks that the neighbor just shot his, the neighbor's, dog and he needs to call the cops. He calls the cops and plays another round while he waits. We almost finish the round when the cops show up and knock on the guy's door. He leaves and comes back half an hour later. He tells us that the neighbor hadn't shot his dog, but instead had tried to end his life. He failed and, because the guy had called the cops so quickly, he survived. Weirdest night playing video games ever.